Hello, today we're going to talk to you about two of our wonderful fruit trees that are both producing. One is producing exceptional fruit for its uh, age, the other one also the same age is producing just okay fruit. And we're going to see if you're able to uncover wh what's the difference in the two trees and to sh we'll show you exactly why that one is producing better uh, as opposed to the other. But first we're going to start off with uh, a little planting job and that is on uh, transferring one of our comfrey from another location and this is what our comfrey plant looks like and it has that beautiful purple flower this particular comfrey is on the outside and we're going to show you the root the root system is really really long and that's just on a young comfrey plant so without further ado I'll get into putting this onto the ground now what we are going to do first is to get our manure into the hole. This is uh, cow manure and it's one of the fantastic things for your fruit trees. So we got to get that in there. So the fruit tree will access this later on as its roots, as it ages and it gets larger, it'll be able to get to the cow manure. And this comfrey in and we're putting this comfrey in right beside or very close to our fruit tree and there's a reason for that as I said that it is to um, have uh, the all the nourishment all the richness that these particular plants are able to extract from deep below the ground to have that come up to the to the surface area close to where the roots will be able to access that, especially those smaller roots on the fruit trees, they'll be able to access that nourishment. And this is why we're, put, we're trying in, in an effort to put uh, comfrey along every single one of our fruit trees eventually when we get, when we get to it. So we'll get our soil in here. And put in a little bit more manure over here. Don't have to be too fussy, just get it in. We'll come back to this and we'll give it a little watering, but I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to go right to the fruit trees now. And we'll get that one tucked in. Maybe we better tuck it in first before we go with the wind. As I said, uh, these leaves will simply fall over. They'll enrich this ground. Absolutely super fertilizer. It's also good for your pollinators, for your bees. The bees absolutely love comfrey. And uh, it's um, with these purple flowers, it just really attracts them. And uh, then also it has the advantage of, because it attracts the bees, you're, you're supporting your, uh, your life system, your natural ecosystem. Of, um, of creatures which will take care of your trees for pollination. Uh, absolutely, one thing that's very critical is your bee population. And um, that is a great plan for sustaining it. So this is our standard and our typical pear tree. And it's growing pretty tall. This particular tree is five years old and the tree that I will show you shortly is also the same age has the same fertilizer that I put around it and I put a fertilizer around it much like you see that ring of um, grass clippings I put a ring of um, manure going around even further out from the, the tree so that the tree could get that nourishment so we'll zoom in here and we'll show you some of the fruit that's starting to form And here is one. This pear tree is on the ground. It got hit by a storm and we just never got a chance to get it up. So what we'll do is we'll support it um, 
somewhere out where I'm showing you the camera around where those raspberries are growing. We put a stake and we put a stake on the other side of it and a cross stake, cross uh, piece of timber that will lift up and support that tree. So as you see this particular uh, pear now is the same variety, same age, same nutrients available to it, same type of ground. It's still flowering and why it's still flowering is because it's that much lower down and it's that much sheltered. So this is a, one factor of why shelter is such an important aspect to your fruit trees, especially to pear trees. Now we're going to show you here, you can see this little pear here and the difference in the size. I don't know if you can see it, but the difference in size and the quantity of fruit is huge. And uh, the reason for that is, well, do you have any ideas why the reason is? And if you're thinking along the lines of, well, the tree is falling down, would that have anything to do with it? You would be very correct. And that has a lot to do with it. Because when the tree is in a, almost a horizontal position, that it is induces, this induces fruiting, uh, so much more uh, abundantly and in, in addition in the, this is more sheltered so uh, it's a combination of the two of the position of the tree with position with its branches go on more of a diagonal at a well we'll call it a 45 degrees but it's even less than a 45 degrees it's uh, almost horizontal and that's what the old uh, Victorian gardens used to do they would take their uh, tree, well, not so much their whole tree, but their branch, and they would bend it over like this. So you can see here where we have uh, these fruits here, the size of them in relation to the, the other tree is uh, significantly it's larger and they're significantly more abundant and productive. So I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with your fruit trees and that one of the, I suppose, lessons we could learn is that the tree is so much more productive when it is going at an angle, at a diagonal. If we pull the branches to meet, uh, let's say, along a wire, going on, on a horizontal wire you can get so much more so much more fruit and it'd be so much more productive than for example our trees that's going sky high now they'll still produce and there's no problem there uh, but the key that we need here is shelter and we're still working on our shelter belt and we'll show you around here uh, this is a shelter belt of hazels which I have put and um, this is uh, uh, just one layer that, and in addition to having the hazels, you have, um, it contributes to the shelter. So it's a twofold. Then behind that, we have some Scots pine. And these Scots pine are originally from uh, my uncle down in uh, Connemara. So thank you, Willie. Appreciate it. And that's how they're grown. And we have hot thorns in, and then in the further in the background and I still have a gooseberry I have to tuck out of there so thank you for joining us in this video and we'll show you around uh, our one of our other orchards uh, in, an, in a new video shortly thank you very much take care of yourself and God bless